Turkey as a very small part of the index, regardless of what index you're looking at. So uh, the, the good news is that the ETFs are not forced to sell down. Uh, because of a decline in the Turkish market and the Turkish lira. So that's the good news. Uh, the bad news is that if Turkey is forced to close the foreign exchange window so that foreign investors cannot get out, that'll be very, very bad and a bad example for other emerging markets if they're more trying to try that uh, going forward. As you know, in the past, during the Asian crisis, Malaysia did that, and it was very, very bad news. So this is something we have to watch very carefully. But the bottom line is that, you know, this is bizarre politics. Uh, you know, Erdogan and Trump are bargaining uh, for this uh, uh, pastor. And of course, Erdogan wants Trump to give up Gulen. And, uh, you know, this is the kind of uh, bargaining that goes on. And I don't think Trump can give up on Brunson. And uh, probably Erdogan is not going to give up on wanting to have uh, Gulen back. So this is going to be a real standoff, I believe. I'm curious as to whether you think that it's time to be opportunistic. If you take a look at the sell-off across other EMs that don't have the terrible external uh, imbalances that uh, that Turkey has, is it time to get in? Or are you cautious? Because to be fair, even before Turkey really erupted, the fundamentals in terms of the trade war, the strong US dollar, were not favorable for that EM space. Oh, there's no question there are opportunities in emerging markets now because of this incredible decline in the currencies. Uh, but we have to be very, very careful about which countries we want to invest in and which companies in particular. And of course, leverage is all the story. We have to be careful not to be investing in companies that are heavily leveraged. By the way, this story about Tesla is really about the debt and about its ability to pay. Uh, all of the debts it, it has. And with interest rates rising, you're going to have problems with many companies around the world, not only in emerging markets, but in developed markets. And that's true of the countries. Country debt uh, with higher and higher interest rates in dollars is going to be a real problem for many of these countries. Has uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan backed himself into a corner by saying that he's not going to take a bailout internationally, and secondly, he's not going to raise interest rates? Well, this is the problem, and uh, it seems to me that the only opening for him would be to uh, give up on uh, Gulen and return the uh, Brinson, return the pastor to the U.S. That would be the best alternative for him. And you may see that happening. There may be a face-saving effort on both uh, Trump's part and uh, Erdogan's part. But uh, it remains to be seen. Not, uh, I can't be too optimistic, let's put it that way. And if you're a depositor in a Turkish bank, would you be taking the money out and putting it under your mattress? Um, I am a depositor in a Turkish bank, and uh, I've got most of the money out, but I'm keeping some in because I think longer term, Turkey is going to be an interesting market to be in. Uh, but uh, if you've got a Turkish lira, of course, you're losing. Uh, in my case, I have uh, U.S. dollars and a little Turkish lira, so I'm in pretty good shape. But I'm concerned about any currency controls, if I ever want to get that money out. Wouldn't be uh, the near future, but anyway, this is something we would have to look at.